positive business talk show in America. Best-selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing. It's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel Tussie and Eric Rammer. Very nice to have you along with us today. We are here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Thank you. Good, good, good. How are you? Fantastic. You know what day it is? No. Oh, yeah? No. It really is. It's the beginning of a new month. <laughs> okay. It's the beginning of a new month. All right. It's kind of midweek for some where you end the week in the middle of the week and you start a month in the middle of the week. It's like getting two extra weeks in the year. Is that what it's right? like? Right, because you had an end of the month and a beginning <laughs> of the month all in the same week. What will you do with your two extra two mm. weeks? <laughs> two extra weeks in the month. Well, you better set some priorities. Priorities. Better set some priorities. What you, you know, talking about, Willis? You know what your priorities are. You know where you're headed. You know where you're focused on. You'll actually be far more productive. Mm -hmm. I want to be more productive. Yeah. So teach me, a oh wise one. Okay. Well, it's, I, this isn't going to come from me because okay. I know when it comes from Angel, we kind of go, yeah, that's Angel. So oh. I brought in, I've got some expertise. <laughs> is, that, is that what we do? I think kind of a little bit. You're like, okay, just, just like, give her. Are you, are you talking just, about me? Just give her a minute. She'll get it out and then we'll move <laughs> on and we can forget she ever said anything. All right. Uh, actually, Carola I found. Carola Carlson. Carola Carlson. She says, you've probably read quite a few articles. You've probably listened to Angel quite a bit on setting priorities. And we like it. Right. Clarifying your goals. Do the high return, high involvement tasks first. Right. Yes. Create a prioritized to do list. Although I don't tell you how to do that. If it's a priority, I tell you, put it on your calendar. Calendar. She says she says what you're lacking isn't so much of, you know, that you know that you need to do it. It's the practical knowledge and efficient methods to create your own action plan. I'm lacking a she, team to get it done delegation that's a that's a good way that's a good way um however you can't just delegate you can't just delegate to the closest person to you what you doing with your hand just there? because you're, you're going all italian on just me just because there's just somebody that is nice and will say yes for you and they are willing to be helpful doesn't mean they're the right person for you to delegate it to okay. sometimes i think the phrase i used yesterday was sometimes you're taking change out of your pocket when you put it on somebody else's to-do list. That was the phrase that you used okay, yesterday. I think that was, but that's not what I'm talking about today. And the uh, phrase I used yesterday was whoops. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> three, three methods for how to actually help you with setting priorities because okay. I think it's really easy to want to be nice and say yes to people and to be helpful, and then we end up taking on other too much, too much that we shouldn't have on our plate. So. Yep. She's, she has three different methods, and okay. so see which one of these works for you. So All right. her first one, she says, is the one year from now method. Mm. She says, let's say you have three possible paths to choose from. This sounds very zen. And you only have time for one. Ooh. So when you're facing a difficult choice, you know, right. difficult decisions, imagine yourself one year from now. Now, we all get the reminders, the memories on Facebook of what was important to us a year ago. Do you know what you posted a year ago as being important to you? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. What? You said one year ago in your Facebook oh, memory, geez. you were thinking of adding a third workout a week to your workout plan. Did I say that? You did. You totally did. <laughs> you have evidence of this? Yes, I do. I saw it. I saw it like two minutes ago. <laughs> What, what amazing would you, timing you would have. You like it? Would you like me to share? Yeah. No. This is what Eric said exactly one year ago today. Lovely. Thinking about adding a third workout to my week. You tagged Orange Theory Fitness. Yeah. Uh, you tagged it. You and you even tagged a couple of people in the post. Mm -hmm. So think about where you want to be one year from now. You're a year older, right? You've achieved some of your goals. You've walked down this path. So looking back, did you make this decision? Did you do this thing that you're thinking about? Was this high on your priority list? Apparently Will it not. still be high on your priority list a year from now? So. Um, I think that's kind of a neat, a neat thing. Like imagine yourself a year from now. Will this yeah. be this important? Will this be this dramatic? Will this be this big a deal? And most of the time, the answer is no, right? One week from now, the answer is going to be no. So let's adjust our priorities and encourage ourselves to be the most productive for who we're going to be yeah. in a year. A year from now. Okay. Okay. Method number two. 
maybe if the year from now is too big of a too big of a thing and you can't quite put yourself in that space. Okay. She has the thinking backwards method. I think you blended these two. You thought backwards from a year ago <laughs> and said, uh-huh, look at that belly. Okay, so usually when you're trying to figure out like what's the most important thing that has to get done and which of these things should I really be focusing on, she says you have to start with a single task that you would consider a top priority. And like, for example, this website landing page. Is yes. this a high priority? Yes, it is. And so uh, to ensure the activity is really as important, start to compare it to the other tasks that are also on your priority list. Do you have other things on your priority list? I don't think so. So you only have one thing on your list. So that's <laughs> that, that makes your priorities really simple. So then when other distractions come in, then you know they don't belong there. They don't belong. They don't belong there. Um, but she says long-term rewards, the impact of the activity, and and work backwards to evaluate the potential income, the importance of each priority. She says you'll you'll then avoid your gut feeling and actually be able to assess what's truly relevant to your goals. Okay. I don't know that that was all that helpful. How about method three? Balanced scoreboard. A balanced scoreboard. I'm all for anything in balance. Why are you looking at me like that? Um, okay. Oh, we'll play along. So uh, she says this was actually the balance scoreboard was actually invented by doctors as a method for aligning business activities to a company's vision statement. Right. And so you kind of have to have your vision, right? So before you set your pen on paper, you have to reflect on your day's goals, what the expected outcome is, what your vision is. Correct. So, you, so find out what's truly important to you and the team's success. So, it's not just about you. It's about your company. It's about where your company's going. It's what the whole team is working on. Then you outline all of the tasks. Yes. And that'll and so then you actually put each of the tasks in each of the priorities. That was one of the goals that you set. This is the challenge I had not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, probably about a month ago. Hmm. I had a whole long list of tasks, things that I needed to do. Right. And I was telling them to my husband. And, but as I was saying them out loud, I realized not one of them really fit into my big goal, my, my main goal, my right. highest reward of what I'm trying to accomplish. Okay. They are just things to do. And so as soon as you align this, okay, if this is my goal, this is really what we want to accomplish. Right. And then these are the activities and this is what I'm spending my time with. Something's out of balance. If they don't match up then you're doing the wrong things. We can do all day long. We can be as busy as we want to be and we can continue to fill our days with busyness. But what is the expected outcome? What's the expected goal at the end of the week or at the end of the day or at the end of the month, at the end of the quarter? So for her, she wrote down increased productivity. So improve her project scheduling process, right? Improve some of the processes, Meet with her team members and guide them on what's most productive for them. Eliminate unproductive tasks or outsource them. Analyze which activities are taking the most of my time. Right. So if she, I mean, if increasing her productivity is her number one focus, right. then she can start to look at all the things on her to-do list. Do they line up with improve, improving her processes for bringing her team on board, eliminating unproductive tasks? And does she know what activity is taking the majority of her time? And if they don't, Dump them. Get rid of them. I mean, you know, you're not going to get them done anyways. <laughs> and that's what ends up happening. Your to-do list will always be not done because there will always be things for you to do. But these days, finding stuff to fill our days with is not the challenge. The challenge is what are the things that are really, truly moving us toward the direction we want to go? So take some time and evaluate this for yourself and take some time and evaluate it with your team. Because otherwise, you're going to just be blown with the wind. Somebody's going to ask you to do something. You're going to say yes because it doesn't, like you don't have anything to line it up with. You don't have any reason not to take that on. You know, and, and it's, I, I, I resonate more with the balance side of things just because it's hard for me to think of what will the impact of this thought, this, this goal yeah, be a year from now. Most of us don't even think about right. it, right? We just, we're in goal mode. We're in, in reactive mode, we're putting out fires. Sure. And so if it's in front of us, we do it. But what ends up happening is we leave along this wake of, of decisions that of things that didn't happen that needed to happen. And at some, at some point it's going to come back and bite you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> For sure that happens. 
Always. 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 Yeah. All right. So there was some tips on how to set your priorities or just to be really reevaluating what is most important to you, what is most important to your team, or even in your family. These are not necessarily things that we put a lot of time and thought into because we're just busy and just going. So pour yourself something warm to drink. Yes. Take a deep breath mm-hmm. and put pen to paper. Put your priorities on paper and match them up with the activities. And if they don't match up, get them out of there. Get rid of them. All right, gang, we're going to be uh, back in just a little bit. You're listening to Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network, home of positive business talk. For the archives of this broadcast, go check out experiencepros.com forward slash radio. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. 